When East meets West, China's Doyenne of Couture, Guo Pei, displayed what's made her one of the most celebrated haute couture designers on the Chinese mainland. Guo Pei's elaborate blend of East and West design was one of the highlights of the Hong Kong fashion extravaganza, part of the HKTDC World Boutique Hong Kong. The works of compatriot Frankie Shear and Japan's Toshikazu Iwaya were also featured, along with Hong Kong's own Dorian Ho. I draw my inspiration from the Middle East and India. It's my biggest market. I use a lot of silk. It's my favorite fabric uh, because I want to show the silhouette of women. You know, I like to um, add a little bit of sexiness. Dorian Ho is eyeing a return to the mainland market after starting in the business there more than 10 years ago with his evening wear collection. It's about the right time to go back to the market. There are a lot of uh, events going on in China. Uh, I think it's in demand. People need to dress up. You can see that the fashion industry is growing in China and uh, people are watching them. Definitely, um, in the next few years, you will see a lot of um, upcoming you know, talent designer. Hong Kong designers definitely have the strength you know, in working with the corporation in China to come up with collections you know, in the future. And the future may well lie here at the annual Hong Kong Young Fashion Designers Contest, spotlighting a new generation of Hong Kong design talent. Lending some star power to the show was UK fashion house Vivian Westwood and its creative director, Andreas Kronthaler, who served as one of the VIP judges. It's a great opportunity and honor really to be here in Hong Kong. And it's the door to China and, and, and it's an enormous market and it's helpful. It's a pedestal you can present your work here and uh, hopefully sell to the world behind it. And showcase it did with its runway show, Vivian Westwood Anglomania. I mean, there is England, maybe there is Japan, but Hong Kong is as important as Japan to us. So you have to be here. Other international brands debuting at this year's show include Dutch menswear label On Front. On Front stands for the mixture between classic tailoring and uh, street influences. It represents individuality and we think that's a, a growing concept within China, for the Chinese youth especially. Cutting Edge Fashion also makes its debut here at this year's World Boutique. Eleven exhibitors from the US and UK are showcasing alternative fashion here at the Underground Quarter, organized by